Howdy, howdy. Another beautiful sunset. Hey, guess where I'm at? You'll never guess. <laughs> yeah, quartzite. <laughs> no, does this place look familiar? Honey was sitting right where Bobby was last year. Or is. Bobby is. <laughs> um, this is the spot. Right over there was where the clubhouse was. About to be again. But, yep, nobody's back here. Quiet. You can hear the birds. Every now and then a car go down 95. Hasn't changed any. <laughs> like it would in seven, or what is it, four months, five months? How long have we been here? I forgot. <laughs> Look. Um, you can see, I'll show you where honey's at. You can see honey from over here, but you got to be in a certain spot to see it. Right, right there. Straight through there. That's honey looking at us, way out there. We're like a subdivision of the spot. <laughs> But we got more room back here for ones that want to come camp with us. Subscribers that couldn't really come in here last year because they said we didn't have no room. <laughs> we got room now. So we're over there. But we're still by the spot. But it, it's rather strange with nobody back here. Of course, I was the last one to leave out of here last year. <laughs> See our view. And over there is Mel and Alex, but you can't see them. There's a lot of, uh, where are they? yeah, right there, just coming into view out there. And then a bush gets in the way. Nothing major going on. Tomorrow's opening day for uh, the LTVA for the season. There's quite a few more in, here. quite a few more RVs in here now. Um. Yeah, they're starting to come in and get the good spots. Yeah, there, there's camp over there. And here was where Greg and Karen was at last year. And Ronnie was right over there. And Doreen and Steve over there. And CR View over there. And G over there. And I forget them people's names that were down there. And Desert Adventures in Arizona parked over there for about a week, I think it was. Might have been two. And then they came back down and went to D's get together, if I remember right. I can't even remember yesterday. Wow, I never noticed that triple cactus right there. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Last year there was over a hundred rigs in this little spot. And of course, there's a wash in between us and where we're at now, the, um, the spot and over there. Which we had people out there and we had people all in that wash over there. So here's quite a few. Don't know what the turnout's gonna be this year. And Jamie and Her husband was over here. And of course, the clubhouse was right over there. And the sun is completely gone now. But we do got some good news though. Becky be back October 18th. We booked her flight. That's because all the flights beforehand was booked up after in the beginning of the month. Plus, it's cheaper in the middle of the month. But she's all booked. She got one more appointment to do. And then she will be ready to come back for the winter. And then we probably got to go back in February. I'm not sure if I'm going to yet or not. You know, we got the dogs to take care of, winter weather to see what it's like in February. But we're having a, we're going to have a grandbaby in February. 
So if anything, Becky might fly back for that, and I might stay back for the with the dogs. We're just gonna see what the weather is gonna do. Um, you never know what it's gonna be like in February in this country, in the middle of the country, down the interstates. I mean, when we first come out five years ago, there was snowstorms in the middle of the country and thunderstorms and rainstorms, and you know we had to we got delayed a whole week on Interstate 10. There's honey way out there. So, you know, can't say for sure I'm going back. We're at least going to get try to get Becky back. And then I might fly in later. We'll, we'll see. You know, it's when you got dogs, your life revolves around them. You know, their safety is number one. But we'll, we'll see when the time comes. But all the DNA testing and ultrasound says it's a girl, but I don't believe those things until the baby actually gets here I got a couple cousins that are supposed to be girls that are guys <laughs> of course that was quite a few years ago <laughs> but you know hey let's wait till the baby gets here then we'll see what it is <laughs> but soon spots gonna be filling up there's a couple people that's on their way here We'll be here in the next day or two coming to the spot surprisingly nobody's come back here to try to claim it because it's 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 an ideal place I mean it's it's not dusty back here it's I mean you got the highway to deal with but that's about it But yeah, we like it over there. So we got a few more, few more spots over there for some of our subscribers, CRV subscribers, Mel and Alex subscribers, can come over and join us. Over here, we didn't really have that. I mean, we had a few come camp with us, come you know, come visit us and that, but we just, we just didn't have the room. Um, so we took care of that this year. Claimed that spot over there. And we'll have plenty of room now. And if we don't have the room, we can go outside the boundaries a little bit. But this is about to be a hopping place again. Oh, I hear Alex playing with her puppy. She's behind the bush over there. I don't know if I see her, she'll wave. Well, I did see her, but then she disappeared. Magic. <laughs> well, anyway, I've got to go get me something to eat. I bought me some chicken. Throw in my chicken soup, liven my chicken noodle soup up. So, I'm going to mosey back to Bobby. And go get me something to eat and finish watching the truck race. Oddly, there was an ARCA race on the day and a truck race today. Um, but it's Bristol, so everything's up a day. Because Cup runs on Saturday night there. So, y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. I'm heading back to the rig. Later, all.